the public election movement legacy and its impact on Uganda's political parties at Makere University was poorly attended. The main discussants were Professor Rongoya and Professor Okenga Latigo. According to Professor Rongoya, there is a need to restore term limits in order to shape Uganda's political future. Parliament voted to scrap term limits from the constitution in 2005. Legitimacy decline, the tendency to resort to ethnicity as a basis for legitimacy to govern becomes greater and greater. And that then presents a very dangerous situation in which most people feel alienated and marginalized by virtue of not belonging to a particular ethnic group. In his assessment of the roadmap to 2016 elections, the professor believes that there is no need to have elections as it is a wastage of public resources. We get all the money that we're going to use for the presidential campaign and use it to build a beltway around Kampala in order to offset the traffic jam that ails us every day. I would suggest that all the money that is going to be spent on the presidential campaign should be used to build hospitals and schools. In light of Uganda operating under a multi-party dispensation, the U.S.-based professor disagrees with the opposition's continued claims that the NRM party continues to polarize them by sending malls to disorganize their party structures. According to Professor Rongoya, the opposition's problem is that they focus so much on NRM and its problems and forget some of the ailments that continue to stifle the opposition within the political sphere. And according to him, there is no formidable opposition party that can dislodge the ruling party in the 2016 general election. There is no party organization and there is no party structure. The party is the leader and the leader is the party. Professor Genga Latigo, who is a former leader of opposition in Parliament, disagrees with Urongoya's view. If you can be bought away with the soap, with the sugar and salt, what can the opposition do? Because you are the instrument, you are the building block of that resistance. Latigo believes that Uganda's problem is that there is no mechanism and guarantee of a peaceful political transition. He also faulted the current political system that he says is hinged on personality politics. We really must begin to then honestly speak to ourselves and say, how do we move from here to a Uganda beyond President Museveni? And we shall, we should and must never fear. I asked the former leader of opposition what the way forward is for Uganda. Those in power, if they only realize that we who are not in power, who are not in NRM, are equal Ugandan. <laughs> the professor's hope that Uganda will transform its politics, borrowing a leaf from its neighbors like Tanzania and Kenya. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.